Hey, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please make sure and do that. Those subscriptions really help me out, and I'm trying to build not just this channel, but all of my channels and, you know, form a, a media empire. So I would love for you to come along and be a part of that goal and that dream. But now we're here. It's Friday morning. I've got the house to myself for a few minutes. Not for very long, but for the moment, no one else is here. So it's time to go to work on this story. And I have to tell you right now, I don't know for sure what's going to happen. I have some notes. If you look back at episode three, uh, you will see that uh, we talked a little bit about the note-taking process and the idea process. And so I've got this theory about how this is going to go down, but I'm not sure. And by God, the only way to find out is to go in and start doing it. So that's what I'm going to do. With that, we're on to sentence number two of The Armageddon Girls by Tom Levine. I need two more names. I've got Darcy, Allison. Uh, we're going to go with... Uh, I'm going to turn to the character naming source book uh, written by... Uh, put out by Writer's Digest. I will drop a link in the description. It will probably be an affiliate link, just so you know. So if you buy this book, I make like 10 cents. Um, great, great book, though for uh, character names. I'm just going to find something completely random. Um, what have I got? I've got an Allison and a Darcy, so I don't want to repeat an A or a D name. That's the other thing. You want your names to be as dissimilar as possible, so I'm, I'm specifically going to not choose anything that starts with a D or an A, because I don't want to echo Darcy and Allison. So I'm going to go with... Uh, oh, hey, look at that. I just used that name. I like Samantha. We'll go with Samantha. Uh, and let me just get one more name in here. Um, Jane. I like Jane. We're going with Jane. All right, off we go. And the reason I like that is, this is the thing about books. Picking up that book and just flipping through it is, I feel, a lot faster than going onto the internet and looking for a name in this particular case, because this isn't a research phase. This is a writing phase I need to get to work, which I would be doing if I wasn't talking to you. Researching those first two names is one thing. Needing a name off the top of my head, just grab a book, flip through it, pick one, and go. I may change one or more of these names as things get going. But if I if I risked going to that cool social security website that I told you about, guess what happens? <whistles> Next thing you know, it's been two hours, and I'm in some weird subreddit somewhere, right? So keep some books handy like that so you can flip through them real quick and get back to work, which is what I'm going to do right now. See, when this happens, when you get locked up on a word, which is what just, just happened to me, um, you got to put in a placeholder and keep going, otherwise you're going to lose the story. So, um, scrapes. I'm going to put in scrapes. I'm going to put it in capital letters uh, so that I know to come back to it when I'm rereading and say, oh yeah, I don't like that word, I'm going to change it. That's, that's me. You do what you got to do. This takes up less time. The important thing is getting it done. The important thing is getting the words out. This may all get cut at some point, but if I don't put it down, then there's no forward motion. We have to have that forward motion, okay? So this still has to happen. <laughs> okay, so there's page one. <laughs> By then she reasoned she'd have worked up quite an appetite. Boom! So. Still a little unclear on the tone. The tone is awfully lighthearted, um, <laughs> which I kind of like. And then, you, and then, you, like, and I tend to do this a lot. I think in my horror is um, the, the villains don't remember. Villains don't think that they are villains. Monsters don't think of themselves as monsters. Generally speaking, sometimes they do. Um, these guys, I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. But they're pre they're being pretty blasé about eating people. So mm, don't know. Um, and it's not nearly uh, the... Oh, I could do that. What if you... I just had a structure idea. Huh. Um, I do like to play with structure quite a bit. If you read my novels, uh, Random plays with structure quite a bit. Hellworld plays with structure. But I love that. But what a, what a line to close out on. By then she reasoned she'd have worked up quite an appetite. In context... But by this point, if you've come this far in the story, if this does, if this is the actual first page, by the time we get through revision, um, you know what you're in for. Like, 
<laughs> these are four very messed up individuals who apparently are eating people and enjoying it, and they're very carefree and blasé about the whole thing. So you can expect more of that, right? You know whether or not you want to keep reading. And I think that's important. I talk about that all the time. Okay, right here, I want to show you something. With them, you see that right here? And then right below it, what do you see? With them. That's called, oddly enough, a repetition. And we want to get rid of repetitions. Um, you don't necessarily have to do it now in the first draft. Just take note, because eventually, someday in some video, I will remind you, look for repetitions and cut them out, because if you don't, your editor at Random House certainly will. Now, you can use repetition intentionally, like I did here. The town remained, the town's people remained, and something else remained with them. Like, I want that, that bump, 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 that heartbeat, one, two, three. Uh, but I don't want with them repeated, so. And something else remained, too. The town remained, the town's people remained. Something else for me too. And I'm gonna bust this up here so that it's bow, bow, bow. Can you hear it when you read it? If I put it all in one paragraph, you kind of bu 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 You kind of read through it. When you add a hard return, now you've got a different cadence. You've got a different ri cadence is the wrong word. I think I'll have to double check, but it's got a different rhythm. Uh, the harsh couple spirit of Demina died with them. The town remained. The town's people remained. Something else remained too. There's an there's an automatic beat that you have to you stop and take another breath before you continue, and that's how we use white space. I can do a whole class on this at some point in the future, so look for that. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna put a new paragraph here because obeyed is a great word. That's a powerful word. Um, we want to end our paragraphs on strong words whenever possible. It's not gonna happen every paragraph probably, but the more paragraphs you can with a great bam. Uh, great strong word like that, go for it. Like since, not a great, not a great word to end on, but that's okay. I, I got my obeyed, so at least I've got the cool ending one paragraph above. I can not worry about it for the next paragraph if I'm even done with that paragraph. I don't know. And mom and mom and the kids just got home. What do I get to? 800, 800 words. I hope you found something that was helpful. Again, please make sure to subscribe and click some of those affiliate links. I would really appreciate it. Even better would be if you would also subscribe to my newsletter. If you need any personal help, go to my Fiverr page or join my Patreon, which is a very low fee. It's like a $5 a month uh, community where we go into a little bit more detail and I uh, hand out some resources there that are not available to everybody else. Uh, including uh, bi-monthly Zoom meetings where you can ask me anything, talk about your project, or do whatever. So please check out those links. I would really appreciate it, and we will see you next time. Keep writing.